Watch this video to find out about the basic commands for the micro bit. Hello and welcome, I'm Mr. Kira from School Tech HQ. Today we're going to be exploring micro bit, focusing on the basic commands and how you can use them. If you're new to micro bit, this is a perfect starting point for you. Okay, so today we're just going to look at the basic commands. So if we start a new project, when we get to makecode.microbit.org, click on new project, we'll just call it basic commands and create that. You see on the left, we've got a virtual simulator and in the middle here, we've got our block command codes. So if I click on that, I can see all the different codes, which will go through some of them soon. And on the right, you can see that we've also got our on start and forever. And this is always there whenever we start a new project. So our on start is very good. So it means that whenever we start up our micro bits, whatever's in this section will happen every time. Our forever, we'll talk about it in another video, uh, look at the loops video, but a forever means that it will always happen and never stop. So we don't need that right now. If we look at our on start, and we go to our blue one, our basic commands. Now we've got a few basic commands here. We've got our show number. So if I put that inside our on start, shows up in my virtual micro bit that I'm showing zero if I change that to four it'll update and it will show me four. So that's how we can easily show numbers. If I've got a number that has more than one digit, say 22, you'll see that what happens is it kind of scrolls through it, 22. So that's show number. The next one we're gonna look at is this here, show LEDs, and this is where you can make up your own image. So I like to kind of do a smiley face, especially as the first lesson. So there you go, you click on each of the squares, Click on any of the squares, there's 25 of them, and it'll show up the picture on your virtual simulator. Or if you have a micro bit connected, um, you can show it on there. If we want to get rid of any, if I make a mistake, I can just click on it again and it'll disappear. After that, we uh, have a show icons. The show icon is when there's pre saved images that you can use. So if I click on this drop down option, I've got all these options here different shapes and images. There you go, there's a, a llama. And if I want to get rid of any, I just click and drag it, bring it back over to the coding blocks and it disappears. After that, if I click on basic again, we have a look further down, we've got show string. This is if you want to show any words. So a string is what we use for words, number is what we use for numbers. And there you go, it will show straight away, letter at a time. And we've also got this one here, which is clear screen. So if I've got something on the screen, it will stay on forever. So if I've got a show image, it will then show it and then it will clear the screen. It disappears. I also have a pause so I can pause, so I can hold on to that for a couple of seconds, milliseconds to two seconds. I have this image up for two seconds and it will then clear the screen if I have it like that. And the last one we've got here is show arrow. This is useful so if you want to look at, look at directions, if show arrow north, it will show an arrow pointing north on my micro bits when I'm doing it. I've got all the other options as well. If you're first starting out using micro bits, these are the first ones that you'll use, all these basic ones here. You might also look a little bit at the inputs. We've got our on button A, but we'll cover that in another video. Last thing to go over is if you are connecting a micro bit, click on the three dots next to download, connect the device. This makes it easier for learners to quickly send their codes to the micro bit. Make sure it's plugged in. Follow the instructions on the screen. It will show up an option on Chromebooks that does it too. Connect device, click on the right one, and it will connect to it there. Now, especially if you're using this in multiple classes, it's good to always kind of do this at the very start. So that way, anything that you have had the previous class use, any sounds and stuff, it will disappear. If you use a blank one, click download once it's connected and it will download a blank slate on your micro bits. Whether you're learning at school or at home, an educator or a parent, I hope this video has been useful and helped you better understand how to use the basic commands in make code for micro bits. Once again, thank you for watching and enjoy creating with micro bit. Mm -hmm.